Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating in my studio. Every day I share a video with you on YouTube in which I paint and create all sorts of nature inspired pictures. I also share loads of tips on how to make the most of your painting journey, interrupted fairly frequently by our family of dogs, cats, chickens and sheep. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. Hi everyone and welcome to my studio. It's Sunday today and I've decided I'm going to do something uh, for myself really. I'm going to break into my um, Etcher uh, sketchbook which I recently received. I've done a temporary cover for it. I've just um, painted some leaves and some olives. I'm not sure if they're very realistic. I think probably not. They didn't start out as olive leaves, um, but that's how they ended up. I liked the look of the dark olive. So that's something we'll do in the future. We'll do some, some leaves and some olives and stuff like that. So I've just put that on there for the minute um, and I'm going to change that later and do something else. Um, but I was thinking of doing a title page. I hope all the pages in here are all the same as one another. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a, um, a, a, a quote on this front page here. I'm not going to put this book belongs to Diane Anton um, because that reminds me too much of school. And I'm not going to try to do this perfectly at all. And I'm not going to suggest you do anything similar but I'm going to do this sentence, which is nature always wears the colors of the spirit, which is from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I'm gonna write that on here and then I'm going to decorate it with um, some pen and ink flowers and then I'm going to paint, uh, paint them and, and color them in. So no pressure at all to perform to any particularly stunningly high level of, of um, achievement. I just am going to do something. Um, to break into the book, really, because you know what? Um, you have to, don't you? So uh, let me get my test piece here. I've been practicing the words and I can never remember which way up. I think you're supposed to use this pen that way up. It's a dip pen and I'm using it with um, some Jack's ink. So let's go for it. I've got it written down here and how am I going to space it out? I'm going to write Nature I'm not trying to mimic the, the fashionable um, bouncy calligraphy that people do these days. I'm just writing it more or less in my handwriting. less, pretty much. American colours or I think we better make it American because Ralph Waldo was American. Nature always wears the colours of the spirit. Okay, and then I'm going to take a finer pen with also with the brown ink and I'm going to decorate, decorate the letters. It's rather fun when the pen catches like that and gives a little spray of um, spatter.
So we're just putting leaves growing out of the letters. If you're working with a pen like this, it certainly makes you slow down because you can't just whack it on like you do when you're using one of these. You have to be a little bit careful and then of course from time to time you need to fill up. in a minute what this paper behaves like when you put paint on it so I'm going to just try that out I haven't honestly I haven't done anything on this yet with watercolor so let's paint some of these little leaves in green So far so good, but I wouldn't say this was a tremendously testing test yet, but so far so good. And now we have some, um, we need some, what do we need? We need some flowers and birds and things like that. So let's start from down here. So I'm going to try to just colour in the flowers and just let this grow organically as we go along. The ink is bleeding a little bit. Butterfly.
And I wonder if I can manage a bird over this side. Make him a robin. Let's do a bumblebee up here. about I use a slightly finer pen and I do a dragonfly. has really faded down, hasn't it?
So there we are. Nature always wears the colours of the spirit. By Emerson. And you could definitely embroider this quite a bit if you wanted to. Okay, so I've added a few more um, flowers and um, animals, and I'm just going to name them. I'm going to write in there uh, what they are. And I'm enjoying this ink pen because it um, catches on the paper and gives a nice little spray of ink. So. I'm sure that in the olden days when this was correctly used, the last thing they wanted was that. But I think I rather like the sort of antique look. So we've got butterfly, robin, dragonfly, honeybee, butterfly again. And then we could, we can call these sparrows. In tiny writing, it's quite fun to do tiny writing and then we could call this a daisy. And this way we're using writing as a kind of artistic embellishment, aren't we? Um, what kind of flower could that be? That could be a buttercup? No. I don't know. I won't label that. I haven't got any idea. And there we are. I think I'll leave it at that. I don't want to do much more than that. Give him an eye. And him. And him. You could emphasize the shapes a little bit more if you wanted to, make them a bit darker, add some more lines. Perfectly reasonable to play around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this book, she said, having decided all of a sudden, I'm going to make this book a kind of nature journal. And I'm going to put in here various different um, drawings that I'm going to do for you as we go along.
So I hope you enjoyed that and um, hope you can bring yourself to give me a like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. Tell me what you like, what you don't like and what you uh, want to convey to me if there's anything you want to know or anything you want to tell me. And I will let you go now and get on with your Sunday and I will see you again here tomorrow. So have a lovely evening and bye for now everyone. Bye bye.